guys, welcome back to another video. In last week's video, we left Sun Moon Lake and arrived back in Taichung. We weren't feeling too hungry, so we just grabbed a light lunch before checking into our hotel. Hotel number four. Is it four? I think so. I think so. Ooh, modern. This is the most modern one. It smells like peanuts. Sam, your room tour sucks. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were still going. Okay, so TV, of course, drinks. No drinks here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. oh water. water. Um, uh. bed, two beds and bathroom. And you. Now we, it's evening. We didn't eat a big lunch. So finally, for the first time, we're experiencing their hunger, which is good because we are meeting my mom's two best friends to have some dinner. Yes, and it's expected to have lots of food, so <laughs> yeah. Let's go. The restaurant was located at the top floor of a department store where there were many themed restaurants from different cuisines. The food was delicious, but it was more fun watching my parents catch up with their longtime best friends. idea where we are. <laughs> we just followed our parents, hopped on a bus, and now we're at a trailhead. Um, but it doesn't feel like a trailhead because it starts so off as a people. farmer's market. Yeah. There's so many people. It's packed. It's a holiday. It's New Year's Eve today. This was definitely the most interesting hike we've ever been on. You can buy anything and everything imaginable along the way, including clothes, shoes, groceries, drinks, snacks, and more. You literally don't have to pack anything for the hike. Just bring your wallet. There's no risk of running out of food or water. It's like an egg waffle with filling. Nice. <laughs> Winter lemon and lemon, and then there's a grass jelly drink too. We saw sugar one. Cold drink on a hot hike. This is papaya tree. Papaya is a very popular food all over the world but yeah but it's originally from Southeast Asia. People in North America rarely see how the tree looks like. Next stop is this park called Carton King and everything in this park is made out of paper. Lots of different structures and art displays. This is our kind of place because half our house is made out of cardboard so... You can get come here and get some inspiration. inspiration. Yes, yes. Riley's worst fear. Great. Oh man. There's structures of all the buildings in their CN Tower too. And for some reason, it looks way bigger than yeah. the Taipei 101. The Maya Pyramid, Mayan Pyramid, Statue of Liberty, Taj Mahal.
always makes me want to step up my cardboard game and upgrade our furniture at home. <laughs> yeah, we want to make stuff out. Of, I want to make stuff out of wood. You want to make stuff out of cardboard. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, the interesting thing is that at Carton King, there's a number of different themed restaurants that you can go to. The thing that they all have in common is that all of the furniture is made out of cardboard and all the art, which is like really cool. So we're eating at, we're eating at Carton King. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. They, I, we saw people order a hot pot and the hot pot pot is also made out of paper, which I don't know how that works. Eco-friendly. Yeah. Oh, we ordered two drinks and then these are actually the drinks their cardboard boxes as well. <laughs> This little subway train has our utensils. Ooh. And this little flowery cup is like some sauce. After taking some time to rest in the hotel, we met up with my family for dinner. We had a lot of fun catching up over delicious dim sum. The evening was artistically documented by my cousin's son, Vic. Great job, Vic. The next morning, we checked out of the hotel and met up with my cousin who was taking us on a spontaneous countryside adventure. Today, our, my cousin took us on a day trip to the mountains, to this small village called Ginger Village. And it was such a beautiful drive here, and now we're eating at a restaurant with a gorgeous view. Hello, Papa in Taiwan? Not yet. Hi, First time hot pot in Taiwan. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, after lunch, we we're going down the hill a little bit to look at this little resorty village thing and walk around. Yes, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> There's a surprise activity. This village is really really cute and beautiful. We just fed a bunch of koi fish. My cousin's kids just like put all the feed in the water. It was a buffet for the fish. like a magic fairyland. Yeah, cute little garden. And uh, the two kids are our tour guides. They're just kind of <laughs> leading us around everywhere. Yeah. What's next? Yeah, where to go? Where are we going? <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of a language barrier, but I think 
we like being around each other, so that's good. <laughs> so in this little village, you can do like um, tie dyeing, and everything's blue. But we're choosing colors, and we're gonna try doing something together. You can choose between like handkerchief, a backpack, bubble tea bag, shoulder bag, a bunch of different um, cloth, cotton yeah, items. So it's a lot of fun. We made a stop on the side of the road on the way back down the mountain for some donuts and afternoon tea. This cafe was situated on the side of a mountain with seating that overlooked the countryside. It was the perfect way to end our day trip as we enjoyed the relaxing vibes and views. Thank you to my cousin and her husband for taking us on such a wonderful and memorable adventure. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed watching join us next week as we explore the university where sam's parents met check out a taiwanese costco and of course try more delicious street food at the famous feng jiao night market until next time peace <laughs>